Hello, Floss Tube. Good afternoon. It is uh, Wednesday, uh, May. What is today? The eighth. Yeah, the eighth. <laughs> the eighth. Uh, Wednesday afternoon. Um, I wanted to do a hopefully quick, uh, uh, relatively simple update because it is the second Wednesday of Mania. Uh, so for me, it is time to change projects and I wanted to do a quick update on my progress on week one and what I'm going to do on week two. So, um, week one, I worked on, uh, this chart, tall, this, uh, tall ships and skis, s tall ships and seascapes, uh, this chart running with the wind, this one here. And, um, I wish I had a bigger picture of the, of the, the model, you know, that's, that's the only one, the only picture. And then the chart, the chart is pretty good sized anyway. Um, but so I, this doesn't look like much. This is a mast, part of the mast. And this is all part of the sails and, um, you know, there's lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of sails. <laughs> you know, I love tall ships, and I I really hadn't thought through the fact that when you're stitching something, depicting them, there's lots of sails, you know. And no matter what you do for shading and, you know, shaping of the sails, you're going to just do blocks of, you know, in this case white there's I don't know you can kind of tell that like see on the edge here this is a different shade uh, you know it's kind of a gray grayish shade you can kind of see it but uh, but it has this big I this is all I stitched for the last couple of days was this big block of white and um, <clears throat> so yeah and I went, I came down and, and did some white here, uh, so I wouldn't forget it. But most of this is like, you know, gray down here. But it's a, such a light gray that it's almost the same shade as white. So. But, um, and actually, I went out and bought more of this white because, you know, this is one sale. One sale. And there's another one down here, you know, and... and <laughs> Lots of sails. Uh, you know, whenever they show, you know, tall sailing ships like that, they just show them like this with all the sails out, you know. And so it's all, you know, it's a lot of white. And not only that, but there's a cloud and there's, you know, the frothy sea and it's a lot of white. You know, and I thought I'd done, I thought I was kind of done with white because I wasn't doing snow at Christmas anymore, but, you know, there's lots of white, lots of sails, lots of white. And, you know, when, <laughs> when I was, I was thinking about it, um, I guess over the weekend or something, I was thinking, gosh, you know, I'm, I'm three of the four charts that I'm doing are, you know, have have lots of white because there's lots of sails, right? The the Ronnie Rowe piece uh, uh, is the fourth one that I'm doing, and it's all, uh, uh, it's charted as, like, black on white. Um, and I'm doing it the kind of the other way around, a darker fabric and a lighter uh, uh, color for the, for the ship itself, but it's all one color. <laughs> but, um, so, but the other three are all, you know, there's, there's sails and, you know, there's lots of white or so I thought. And so after I went out and bought some extra skeins of, of the B5200 that I'm using for, in, for the white, um, it, the, the charts are older. So they, they just call for a generic white. Um, but I'm using B5200. Uh, and so I was thinking, gosh, you know, I have, all of the sails for running with the wind and all of the sails for the you know, clipper ship 
and all the sails for the the three ships for the uh, voyage of discovery the three columbus ships the nina the pinta and the santa maria all of them have sails and i thought gosh i'm gonna need more b5200 i might as well buy you know a few skeins of that um but then i i sort of you know had a sort of a wild hair in the middle of the night and and pulled out looked at the other charts and the voyage of discovery does have a lot of, of white but not there's really you know like one big sail and some and a couple of you know a few little sails uh on each of these three columbus uh ships that are pretty simple compared compared to uh the the sail all the sails on the on the other ships the the running with the wind and the old clipper ship uh ships but um but i looked at more closely at oops this is upside down at the old clipper ship and all these sails are done in ecru <laughs> and i only had one old skein of one old bobbin uh skein of ecru because i hadn't I, I rarely use ecru um and i was kind of afraid that like like the you know the dye lots of color would maybe i would they weren't it's not so crucial with ecru but i thought they might be it might be you know different and so i, I bought a couple of skeins of that just in case but it looks like they're about the same as the what i already had but there are a lot of sales and that's a lot of ecru you know but anyway, so today I uh, started working on on that design, and I didn't get very far. I only got got about this is this is the middle of of one of the sails. Yeah, I started in the middle, and then I worked my way up because it's there's you know I didn't want to lose the little bit up here. And the funny thing about this chart um, is that, and I don't know if it's because it's older why but even my older charts um you know how you know how they have like the heavy heavier lines for the grid of and they're usually in 10 this chart the grid is in uh, is like 14 14 by 14 squares instead of 10 by 10 i don't know if it's because the fabric was you know because it offers it offers like um uh you know the uh, I guess you know. I don't know if the if the model was done. Excuse me. There's cat stepping on my thing. Stop it, please. Um. For I don't know what for whatever reason, but um, but the chart, the it, it this the the squares the grid is it's are they marked heavier lines on like 14 by 14 and i don't know why that is <laughs> i i discovered because i was trying to you know i was looking at the center and i thought well this this is on the fourth line and this is you know i was counting the lines and this is on the sixth line it's like well if this one is six lines up this should be only four left right of the 10 but there was obviously more than four and it's because there there were eight there was it's like 14 by 14 and i don't know why but um it doesn't affect the stitch count any, but it, you know, it, it affected the way I counted it, you know, finding the center like that. But, um, but, uh, but anyway, I, I didn't get that much done on it, um, today because I, I, I really can't stitch in the car and I kind of, I went with, uh, with my parents and my sister running around today. Because we had a little bit of a tragedy in our family. Um, we went out to eat last night. Um, my sister and my parents and my older sister and, and her son. And my younger sister and her husband and son. We all went out to, to dinner. And when we first got there, um, my mother went to the bathroom. And, um, and she noticed that this other lady in the bathroom was kind of hanging around, you know, while my mom was washing her hands, I thought the lady was walk, hanging around. And I guess, apparently, when my mom went to dry her hands, this woman stole my mother's wallet out of her purse. And, um, and 
you know, we didn't notice right away. It, it, uh, my mom noticed a little bit later. She kind of couldn't find her wallet, but she thought maybe she had lost it, left it in the car, or maybe it was at home. She, you know, wasn't quite sure. And then my dad, while we were eating dinner, my dad got a call from uh, our our bank and saying, you know, that there was an, a possibly unauthorized use of her card, and. Um, and so we came to find out, I guess, I guess my sister, you know, made phone calls, uh, last night, uh, and this morning. And, um, apparently this woman, uh, used the card several times. She, you know, she tried to, tried to get cash out of the ATM. Unfortunately, she couldn't because, of course, she didn't know my mother's PIN number. Um, but she, she did use it to spend money here and there at a couple places. And um, fortunately, that Monday we put back because we it was caught right away by the bank, and and it was obviously unauthorized use of her card and all that stuff. And so we went, you know, uh, here and there today. We went to the bank and to the DMV because my mother's my mother doesn't have a driver's license because she can't drive. She can no longer drive, but she has an ID card. So we had to go to the DMV and replace that. And we went, you know, and 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 I could have stayed home, I guess, probably, but. Um, uh, I went with my with my parents and my sister to to go to the bank and the DMV and you know whatever, and um, so you know it was kind of annoying and aggravating and and maddening that this woman just you know just took my mother's card and you know and and her her wallet and and everything in the wallet and you know just oh it's just it's it's it you know it's violating you. It's it's just maddening. You just want to smack them, you know. Um, but uh, but you know, fortunately we caught it right away, and and uh, you know she wasn't able to you know spend of a storm or anything like that. And uh, but you know we have to like uh, put a hold on holds on her account so that um, the woman didn't try to like you know open new charge accounts or anything like that. And, you know, it's just, it's just aggravating. But anyway, so that, so that was how kind of how we spent the day this morning. Um, so I, I got a little bit of stitching done because ABC always bring cross stitch. So while, you know, we were sitting around at the bank and the DMV and I was, you know, waiting on, uh, my parents to do various things. I, I was able to stitch a little bit. So I just got a very little start on that on one of the sales in on the old clipper ship, but this is my second week of mania project. So hopefully I'll by Saturday I'll have a little bit of progress to show you uh, to and uh, to talk about further adventures. Um, but that's it. That's I just wanted to do a quick update uh, and uh, on. Let you know where I stand on the second week, getting started in the second week of Mania. And hopefully by next Wednesday, when I switch to the third one, to the Voyage of Discovery, that's that's the third one I'm going to do. Um, but hopefully I'll have uh, more significant progress by Saturday and by next Wednesday when I switch projects again. Um, so I think that's about it. That's all I have for now because I'm working away, plugging away at Mania. And um, real quickly, you know, <laughs> thank you for my uh, my returning subscribers, uh, uh, viewers, and welcome to any new viewers. And uh, I'll see you on my uh, regularly scheduled time on Saturday. And until then, let me grab this cat right here. He says, ooh. <laughs> Puck says, don't hold me. Pucks. He's, you probably can't hear, but he's purring even though he's mad. Um. <laughs> that goes Puck. And... Uh, you can't see him, but Snug behind me over here. Anyway, so Puck and Snug and I all say, oh, there's, oh, 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 
Cats are having a disaster over here. There goes Puck. <laughs> um, they just switched places. I don't know why. Uh, anyway, so I'll see you on Saturday, and hopefully I'll have I'll be further along by then. Uh, thanks, and I'll see you next time. Bye.